So now you guys might be wondering how I'm feeling, or maybe you just don't give a fuck. <laughs> or maybe you're wondering if I changed or modified anything in my life. Well, to be completely honest, I really haven't changed much at all. I actually don't think I've ever told any of you guys this before, but I actually used to drink two, two monsters a day, two of them. Those white ones, the sugar-free ones, oh my God, they are amazing. So I used to drink two of those, and when I found out I was pregnant, I just cut them out cold turkey, because I was like, no caffeine is allowed, how the hell am I gonna survive, holy shit. I was terrified, and I felt like crap. That being said, when I went to the doctor, and when I did a lot of research online, and when I read this book that my mom gave me, this is like literally the best book any pregnant woman could ever buy. It actually said that you can have up to 200 milligrams of caffeine in a day, and two of those monsters is actually 140 milligrams. Granted, I do not drink two anymore. I actually have this measuring cup, and I measure out eight ounces of it, which is about like 80 milligrams of caffeine or whatever, and I'm like, that's good. And you know what's funny is I actually feel totally okay with that amount of caffeine. As you can see, I'm pretty bubbly right now. <laughs> Maybe I'm terrifying you. Maybe you don't wanna watch this video anymore. Now, aside from limiting my caffeine, the only other thing that I've done is modify my sushi order a little bit. Now, I don't really believe in the whole you don't have to eat raw food situation when it comes to pregnancy, however, I do know that my brain would make me feel super guilty if I did because the reason behind the advice of women not eating anything raw when they're pregnant is because of parasites. Now, if I went to a sushi restaurant right now and I had all the raw sushi in the world and it was so delicious and I had this food gasm and it was just the best food coma ever, I know about an hour or two later I would be like, oh my God, did I just screw up the thing that's growing inside my uterus? Did I just give it a parasite? I don't know. So I am limiting, AKA I'm not actually eating anything raw. That being said, I am not, and I repeat, I am not limiting my fish consumption. None whatsoever. I hate, abhor, detest the advice where people are like, hey, stop eating fish, cause the mercury. Um, excuse me, but fish, is super full of omega-3 fatty acids. And guess what omega-3 fatty acids do? They help your baby's development. The amount of salmon I eat is gonna create fucking Albert Einstein in my stomach. Granted, I don't know if Albert Einstein is the most intelligent person, but he's smart. He is smart, guys. So that's what I'm getting at. My kid is gonna be smart because of all of the fish I eat. That being said, I do not eat swordfish, tilefish, shark, those are extremely high in mercury. And let me just tell you something about fish. The reason why there's so much advice out there for people to not eat any fish or, or limit it during pregnancy is because of mercury. Now, did you guys know that the selenium content, which is a B vitamin, in fish actually cancels out the mercury so your body excretes it when, you know, you go to the bathroom. <laughs> But seriously guys, so salmon, sardines, black cod, these fish are so good for you and so good for your baby that you should not, you should not limit them whatsoever. Ah! It drives me absolutely bonkers when people found out I was pregnant who didn't think that our comedy sketch was a joke, which is why Landon wanted me to make this video because he literally thought everyone thought my pregnancy was a joke. I got so many messages from people being like, Oh my God, what are you gonna do without salmon? I'm like, I don't know what you're fucking talking about. I'm eating salmon right now and I'm loving every second of it. So I don't know what sort of advice you got or heard in the past, but it is so dated. And this book right here further explains why this mercury and fish thing is a fallacy, total fallacy. I mean, I knew it way before I read this book, but this book like further confirmed it and I was reading on and I'm like, yeah, buddy. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. <laughs> 
So thank you, Lily Nichols, for making me feel better about being pregnant and eating all the fish I want. So another thing in my life that a lot of people think is rather extreme, because they think my salmon eating is so extreme because they eat so often, whatever, is I work out a lot. I do cardio every single day rather strenuously. I lift weights. I do all of that sort of thing. However, when I found out I was pregnant, I was really sad because I felt like I was in like peak physical condition in terms of weightlifting because I was really getting into it. And my arm muscles were like, yeah, buddy, I could take anyone down. However, I was and still sort of am high risk pregnancy. So I had to really limit my weightlifting. And honest to God, I actually just sort of stopped for the first trimester because I was nervous that I was gonna screw something up. Now, I really don't care and I'm like, if this baby's meant to be, it's meant to be and it'll survive anything. Plus, I had been working out so much before this baby, so I feel like, you know, this environment is such that if I could get pregnant while I was working out so much, then we're good to go. And I know so many people who are super fit, super workoutaholics, and they're pregnant too, and they look amazing, first of all, and secondly, their baby is 110% healthy. So, I did stop lifting weights for the first trimester, but I'm just now starting to get into the weight routine again because I'm in my second trimester at this point. However, I never stopped doing my cardio. I never cut back on that. My cardio is literally my life. It makes me feel so good in the morning. It's like brushing my teeth. I just, I have to do it every single day and it makes me feel so much better. So I've continued to do my cardio and everything's perfectly normal. Everything's fine. Every single time I go to the doctor, my doctor says that I have this healthy baby and it looks so good and she's just so positive and I'm like, whoa, I'm actually doing something right. <laughs> so yeah, haven't really changed anything in terms of my cardio routine. However, I am now just starting to get back into the weight room. So I'm excited about that because I want my guns to grow a little bit more. That being said, pregnancy is exhausting, so I have definitely lost some of my, you know, oomph, if you will, and I definitely get tired a lot quicker, and I only lift 30 pounds and under because that's been required for pregnant people since a long time ago, I don't know. I'm not gonna really push myself in that department until, you know, baby's gone. Because it's only nine months of your life, so, you know, eventually you'll get your life back enough to go to the gym. I say that now. If there are any moms who are watching this, or like, you never get your life back, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I'm gonna make sure that I do. <laughs> uh, Cause Landon's gonna take care of the baby, not me. What? Who said that? Hmm, what else have I done since finding out I'm pregnant? Prenatals, yeah. My mom, as I said, OBGYN, so, so she knows everything about everything in this world. So she has been super generous, sending me all of the prenatals. Like literally, I am good for the next five years. <laughs> and I have been taking them religiously because, as you guys may or may not know, with the celiac, the Crohn's, ulcerative colitis, IBS, a whole host of other digestive issues, I don't really absorb all of the nutrients I can from the foods I eat, and I can't eat every single food on the face of the planet, thus I am missing nutrients in general, so I feel like these prenatals really round out my diet, and honest to God, they make me feel fine. Like initially in the first trimester when I feel like fucking shit, and I'll get to that in a minute, oh my God, it was awful. 10 weeks, six days of being pregnant, and I wanna die. Seriously, I wanna die. I hate this. Every day after 3 p.m., it's like, not ya. When I took these prenatals, like I wanted to vomit because I was just always so nauseated. But now I can take them and I'm totally fine. And I 110% recommend that all women across the board, pregnant, not pregnant, whatever, take prenatal vitamins. They're very good for you. They just fill in the gaps where you lack in nutrients. So it's not gonna harm you in any way, shape, or form. Get on that bandwagon, guys. Get on that bandwagon. And men, if you're watching this video, why don't you take a multivitamin while you're at it? If you wanna get your lady pregnant, you know, that multivitamin's gonna make your swimmers just swim even stronger. <laughs> yes, I went there. Okay, so before I finish this video, because I feel like it's been, you know, 10 years of talking, I just wanna let all of you know that pregnancy, yeah, it's not rainbows and sunshine and marshmallows and kitties and puppies. 
No, it's really not. I absolutely hate when I see pictures or blog posts or articles or whatever about women being like, oh my God, pregnancy is the best thing that ever happened to me. It's so great. I feel wonderful, blah, 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 blah. Can you quit lying? Like, I don't quite understand where this information or where this is coming from because I felt like fucking shit in first trimester and holy hell, it was the worst. I could not get off the couch. I was always so nauseated, feeling like I was gonna throw up, but I never threw up. I could not look at salmon, my favorite food on the face of the planet. I had no idea what to eat because I just hated food. However, then I got hungry and I was like, I hate food, but I'm hungry. I don't know what to do. Ah! It was awful. So yeah, I'm so glad I'm in the second trimester. What they say is true, at least for me, in that I started to feel so much better when I was on the brink of the first and the second trimester. Like, like three days before moving into this house, thank God, I started to feel so much better. And now I feel, I feel okay. I'm definitely tired. I definitely get a teeny tiny bit nauseated here and there. But overall, I love food again. And actually, I've been craving some very different things from what I typically eat. So we can talk about cravings and then I'm going to shut up, I promise. So right now, the things that I'm totally craving are cherry tomatoes. Yeah, I literally go through like four cartons of those things a day. And red meat. I mean, I love you. Mm, mm, mm. I fucking love meat. Oh my gosh, the amount of red meat I'm eating right now is crazy. And the funniest part is, is I have anemia. I'm like, dude, the baby's taking all my iron. What the heck? But hey, you know what? It's better for the baby to take it. I'll just keep on eating the red meat. Totally fine by me. That's not punishment. Cherry tomatoes and red meat. Literally, that's it. Well, no, I take that back. I'm also craving unagi and grilled octopus. <laughs> Grilled octopus is so good. If you guys have ever had Spanish grilled octopus or a Greek style octopus, let me know in the comments below how much you loved that. Now, the octopus at Japanese restaurants, no thank you. That is like chewing on a balloon and I would rather eat anything else. So that's basically everything I wanna tell you right now. I'm pregnant. It's not a joke. I'm still doing all the same things I was doing pre-pregnancy. And I actually feel okay now, but in the first trimester, I was like, why? Why is this happening? What did I do to myself? I wish I was this walking birth control still. <laughs> but I'm feeling okay right now. That being said, once again, pregnancy is not all rainbow sunshine and kitties and puppies, guys. It's not. So if you do like this kind of video where I'm just literally telling you everything in regards to what pregnancy is like and not holding anything in, then let me know in the comments below and I will continue to make videos like this. And you know what? If you have any questions, ask me. Leave them in the comments below. And in my next video about being with child, if you will, <laughs> I will answer them. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry again that I wasn't cooking anything this week. I promise you that I'll have another video of me cooking very, very soon. I'm not gonna lie, cooking right now, even though I said that I love food again, it's just still not that wonderful when I'm pregnant because looking at food sometimes, I'm like, Ugh. But the funny thing is, is I have no problem with going out to eat because I don't see the preparation. It just comes to me all cooked and done and I wolf that down because I am usually hungry. What else is new? Anyways, thank you guys again for watching and I will see you all next week. Bye.